This is Russia's most dangerous nuclear missile, or rather, the world's most dangerous nuclear missile. But to be precise, not the whole thing, but the maneuverable block, which is located in the head of the missile. In the mid-1980s, Russian scientists under the leadership of chief designer Pavel Sudyukov began work on the project under the code 4202. The purpose of the work was to try to find a lock to the U.S. missile defense system. It was then that the Avangard system was developed. Avangard consists of two elements. The first is an intercontinental ballistic missile, responsible for acceleration and bringing the warhead to the calculated trajectory. The second element is the hypersonic gliding-winged warhead. The gliding-winged combat unit is seriously different from its competitors in terms of its operating principles. Unlike conventional warheads, the winged unit is capable of performing a planning flight, not just falling on the target. Because of this, it is almost impossible to intercept. The Avangard has a very high speed. According to the results of the next test launch, it was reported to reach a speed of 27 Mach number, it is 32,217 kilometers or 20,019 miles. This allows it for an hour and a little to make a full circle around the planet or just 16 minutes to cover the distance from Moscow to New York. No air defense system can deal with a missile like that. Only missile defense has a chance, and that's small. The launch of an intercontinental missile will not go unnoticed. It can be tracked by satellite reconnaissance, this means that you can learn about the launch in advance, and there will be some time to react. In flight, the hypersonic Avangard forms a cloud of plasma around itself, which is detected by infrared reconnaissance satellites. This makes it possible to track the missile's movement. But that's not the problem. Anti-missile defenses use a kinetic method of interception. When a conventional missile is launched, it has a fairly predictable trajectory and is relatively easy to target. But the Avangard block can literally dodge such an attack because it can change its flight path. The explosive power of the nuclear warhead carried by the Avangard missile is reported to be more than 2 megatons in TNT equivalent, which is a hundred times greater than the bomb dropped on Nagasaki. For example, if Avangard were to be dropped on New York City, the destruction would be over 25 kilometers in radius. More than 2 million people would die and over 3.5 million people would be injured. The nuclear mushroom would reach the altitude that airplanes normally fly. But it's unlikely that such a missile would be used on cities. It's more likely to target radars and missile defense sites, so that Russia can then have the opportunity to uncontrollably use more obsolete nuclear weapons, of which it has 5,889 in nuclear storage. But I ask you to remember that any weapon is bad. We are human beings, and we were born to create and create happiness around us. Subscribe to the channel and let's discuss this missile in the comments.